Is this the future of wartime spying? An airship devised and built in Bedfordshire, bought by the American military to spy on the Taliban in Afghanistan. Hybrid Air Vehicles in Cardington has just 11 months to build it. Last year, the company turned over five million pounds. The deal for this aircraft, a hundred million. So we're going from a core team of about um, 20 people to over 100 people inside of 90 days. So it's a very exciting time. The aircraft will be six times bigger than this scale model. It'll be vast, the size of a football pitch, bigger even than the Airbus 380. In fact, when it's finished, it will be the world's largest flying object. Airships have fallen out of fashion since their heyday in the 1920s when the Cardington hangars housed the R101. There have been some commercial flights from Cardington in recent years, but the US defense deal is a big step forward. At the moment, the military relies on fixed-wing drones, which fly for just a few days. But test flights of this scale model impress the Americans because it can stay in the air unmanned for up to three weeks, acting like a spy satellite. It has sensors on board, which the U.S. Uh, uh, government are going to put on board, which allow it to observe and monitor activities on the ground to a very high resolution, um, which will enable them to um, detect uh, the positioning of IEDs. Another local firm, Blue Bear Systems, is developing the autopilot. Hundreds of millions of American dollars plowed into this corner of Bedfordshire to build the future spies of the skies. Joel Mapp, BBC Lake East, Cardington.